Today, Indonesia is holding its largest and perhaps most complicated single day election. We have uh, more than 190 million voters today and also more than 245,000 candidates who are running for more than 20,000 seats at the national and local levels. And we also have more than 800,000 polling stations across the country. And uh, apart from that, people also vote for their next president and vice president. And they have two, uh, two choices. The uh, candidates number one uh, include incumbent President Joko Widodo and his running mate uh, Maruf Amin, who is a prominent uh, Islamic scholar and with uh, a lot of support from top Islamic um, organizations in this predominantly Muslim country. The candidates number two include um, Prabowo Subianto and his running mate Sandiaga Uno, who is one of the um, country's richest billionaires. And well, today I've spoken to um, a few voters who have come here to cast their vote and they say that all they want to see um, is a better um, quality of life. They want the cost of living to go down and they want to see new president and vice president creating more jobs for people in the country. And they all agree that this election will lead to a better future for Indonesia. This morning, um, candidate number two, uh, Prabowo Subianto, he also came here at this polling station to cast his vote. He spoke to journalists and said that he is optimistic and, and happy that this day has finally arrived. And he said that according to his team's um, research, he is confident that 63% of votes cast in this election will belong to his team.